Hello and welcome to another episode of It Came From The Page. So we made it through April, thank goodness, and uh, now we are in the wonderful month of May, which is a big old booktube event uh, called Horror Mayhem. Now, I didn't think I was going to be participating in Horror Mayhem at all. I just kept making TBR lists based on like very specific topics, and by the mid point, I get bored. So I decided instead to make like a mood reading like pile. But then I was watching Michael K. Vaughn's video, and then I was actually like listening to all of the different categories week by week. And then I looked at my TBR pile, and I was like, oh, I've pretty much done it already. So I just had to make like a few little changes here and there. And then I had found out that I was pretty much already in the midst of, uh, of horror mayhem planning. So surprise, I guess I'm doing it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, here's, here's what I'm going to be talking about. Um, so week one is supernatural beings slash creatures. This is a thing that I love, but uh, here are some that I have. Uh, so we're doing creatures. I think all three of mine are creatures features. Uh, so Nightwing, which I actually just saw the Bookubus haul, like, today. I was watching her video, and she hauled this as well, so that's cool. There was actually, this was actually made into a movie, but this is the book version, so this is not a novelization uh, about killer, you know, bats or something. The rats, the rats. I watched uh, Criminality's video on, like, the top 30 horror books you need to read before you die, and this was on there, and I was like, oh, I have a copy of The Rats, and I have not read it. I should read that. And uh, as such, I put it in my pile. And then, of course, it fits in right with Core Mayhem, so I'll be doing that. Death Tour, which is a uh, very famous paperback from hell, given the fact that it is uh, one of the ones that's the hardest to find. Not easy to find a copy of this. I don't have one in the best of conditions. It's got, like, a little bit of a crease spine and uh, everything like that but i was really happy to find it because yes this is one of the ones that are very famously uh featured in paperbacks from hell so i wanted to read this one for a while and uh it's very short it's a nice little shorty so i thought hey that's cool and now we're on to week two which is actually gothic horror and uh for that I have one uh, little short story collection, which is the Cornish Tales of Terror, edited by R. Chetwin Hayes. I know R. Chetwin Hayes from the movie The Monster Club, which is a Vincent Price movie from 1980, which features a fictional version of R. Chetwin Hayes and is actually about various short stories by uh, by the man. Uh, and this one has stories from like Daphne du Maurier. That is the only person I recognize on the back of this list. But uh, yeah, so this is classic Cornish Tales of Terror. And look at this bat. I love this bat on the cover. Great cover. Totally filled with uh, a bunch of gothic goodness. So I'm very excited for that. I'm also going to be reading some audiobooks. So listening to some audiobooks uh, for this one specifically. And I'm going to go classic, classic. Like, I have not read... Um, the Portrait of Dorian Gray, which I know actually Criminality is also reading that, but I just read that huge Bram Stoker autobiography that went all into the life of Oscar Wilde. And I realized I hadn't really read many Oscar Wilde things at all. So I was like, oh, I better do that. And the audiobook for The Portrait of Dorian Gray is actually in their Plus catalog. So uh, I got it for free. So yeah, bam, bam, bam. that's cool. Can't wait to do that. And then depending on how much time I have left in, in this batch, I might go with other like very famous uh, gothic novels of the past that I haven't actually read. Um, so I think of maybe Janie or something like that. Maybe something by Bronte, by Emily Bronte. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Week three, Cosmic Horror, I have two. So I have uh, Brother Kind by J.N. Williamson. I have an amazing copy of Brother Kind. I've actually op unboxed this on a episode before, but I really want to read this. And this one, you know, other than the obvious of cosmic horror, the, the fact that it's about aliens, um, this one is also dealing with things like tulpas, mind beings, that kind of stuff. So it's not just aliens. There's a lot more to it than than simply that. that. And this is also supposed to be trash. So uh, I'm very excited to read this. This one, uh, I am 
going to read because a friend wants this book, and I said I'll give it to him after I read it. Uh, and this is The Tower of Evil. Uh, maybe this isn't technically cosmic horror. It sounds like it's like a possessed evil shaft, elevator shaft. And if the cover is to be believed, if I saw that going down a, a elevator shaft, I would be like, yeah, no, um, that's some cosmic horror right there. <laughs> I'm also going to start the Stephen King's Dark Cat Tower series, so that will definitely go in on that category as well. I've also actually gotten... Uh, three quarters of the way through another J.N. Williamson uh, alien book. It's called Extraterrestrial, and it's actually by a pen name uh, of J.N. Williamson and released the same year as uh, Brother Kind. I started reading it yesterday before I decided I was going to do this, but if I had uh, been smart, I would have put it like right beside uh, Brother Kind for that. But, oh well. Uh, last one is folk horror. I've got two for folk horror. I'm not 100% sure if these qualify. We will see. We will see. Uh, one, this is a really short one. This one's like only like what? Yeah, 170 page called The Executioner. And this one, like, the reason why I'm choosing this for folk horror is the, um, the, the entity chasing these three criminals says that it's going to kill them by fire, by water, and by earth. So it seems like there's more to it than just normal execution. So I think that that would be cool and interesting. And a lot of this supposedly takes place like in the woods and everything like that. So this one might not count, but I thought it was kind of folk y And I just got it. So I was like, yeah, that's a shorty. And then uh, the last one uh, would be The Eye of Evil by... Uh, the name is right there. Uh, I cannot pronounce that name, so I don't want to butcher butcher it. Uh, but Terrence K, Parents J K, um, and this one is very much like about an old legend of a folk monster called the Leedsville Devil, and that means to me this is all going to take place in a singular locale. And it's more rural, so it really probably does sound like it probably fits in that folk horror vein. Again, all I know about this is the cover and the excerpt on the back, which mentions the Leedsville Devil, something called the Cranberry Bog, a character named Fred Sackville. Uh, you know, that sounds like it's probably going to be uh, some straight-up uh, <laughs> folk horror. Uh, I do have a few other, like, if if neither of those end up being folk horror or not or are not folk horror enough i do have some like back backups which is like i know rawhead rex by clive barker is uh folk horror so i can grab that and there's a few other uh in the woods stories i think i have a richard layman novel that's literally called into the woods that is definitely a folk horror thing so if those two don't end up being folk horrorly enough for me to count it then I'll find something else. But yeah, I was like looking through my uh, TBR and I was like, oh, I guess I am participating in, uh, <laughs> in Horror Mayhem, so I might as well make a video about it. Uh, are you participating in Horror Mayhem? Any suggestions for anyone who may be uh, kind of scraping the bottle of the barrel, trying to find something in especially cosmic horror and folk horror, which are a little bit more open-ended. So if you have any recommendations for those, I would love to hear them. Uh, and I would also just uh, love to hear what you guys are talking about. As a personal challenge, I'm also going to try... Now, this one, this might not happen. We'll see how I'm doing, especially health-wise, because that's the biggest thing that will describe whether or not this is doing. But I'm going to try to actually write some personal short stories each week having to do with the themes. I don't know how that will go. I'm not a particularly talented writer, but that's why I've been reading more, because I want to become a better writer, so... We'll see. We'll see if I if I if I achieve that, and if I do well enough on that, that I would share it with any of you. So we will see. There might be a few personally written short stories in the future. So there you go. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and have yourself a great day.